सबसे अच्छा दिन है इस शुभ अवसर पर जब महात्मा गांधी जी और लाल बहादुर शाह शास्त्री जी की जयंती है इस अवसर पर हम लोगों ने आज ये ओरेशन रखा है ये दोनों महाभूतियों को मैं आज श्रद्धा सुमन अर्पित करती हूँ और शत शत नमन करती हूँ अवर डियर डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ टूडेज प्रोग्राम वेरी डायनेमिक एंड डेडिकेटेड पर्सन डॉक्टर शारदा जैन डॉक्टर साधना गुप्ता डॉक्टर रागनी अग्रवाल एंड डॉक्टर मालाश पर्सन हु आर चेयरिंग माई सेशन डॉक्टर अनुराधा खन्ना डॉक्टर कमल गुजराल डॉक्टर रुचिरा नोटियाल एंड डॉक्टर अमृत पाल कौर एंड टूडे वी हैव गॉट इवन लर्नेड जजेज ऑल्सो विथ मी हु विल बी जजिंग द एस ए कॉम्पिटिशन एंड द प्राइजेज विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन and then the master of ceremony who is now a great renowned gynecologist dr anita rajoria and dr nalini gar dr nalini gar i am really impressed the way you have introduced everyone vakai mein hindi bhasha ne aapne bahut bahut sundar bola today actually i am going to speak on a subject which is very close to my heart and the subject is population stabilization journey of india all of us know that population problem is a great problem for our country one minute yes is it going stabilizing india's population is easier said than done we all know that birth of a child is most beautiful creation of god thereby population growth is purely a natural phenomenon but unchecked population growth in india has led to population explosion which is leading to deleterious consequences now we know that human beings have evolved under conditions of high mortality due to famines accidents illness infections and war in spite of relatively high fertility rate the global population reached only 1 million by the middle of the 19th century in 20th century there was a steep fall in the mortality and a steep increase in longevity leading to a significant increase in population now this chart shows dramatic change in world's population the world experienced dramatic population growth during 20th century and in 21 we are seeing that there is a line of demarcation there is a big divide as there was a sudden increase in population what is world population clock according to world population clock every second four to five children are born and only two people die resulting in high growth rate approximately two persons per second in nutshell thus adding 9000 persons every hour and 2 lakh 14000 persons per day now world's population is expected to reach 9 billion by 250 this chart actually i am just wanting to give you the basic ideas how the population explosion happened and what were the problems which we are facing and why we have to tackle it quite enthusiastically this chart shows world's population and we are seeing that the china is having the maximum um, population that is 19.4 and second are one we are having 17% population and then indonesia brazil united states and pakistan now the very unfortunate situation is that the 
इंडिया हैज ओनली टू पॉइंट स्टिल वी आर हैविंग सेवेंटीन परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन दैट इज वन पॉइंट टू वन बिलियन इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन नाउ स्टेट वाइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन अगेन उत्तर प्रदेश इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्टेट इन अवर कंट्री एंड सो वी हैव टू शोल्डर ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नाउ शेर सॉरी सॉरी now here we are saying that 16% of the population of india is uttar pradesh and then maharashtra and bihar is 9% now growth rate of india india adds about 10 lakh people to its population every fortnight in spite of the fact that there is a we should just see it and note it that there is decline in annual growth rate 1.4% per year which was 2.2 or 2.4% per year and decadal growth as 17.64% in the last 50 years which was in 1971 about 25.29% but we still had population explosion or overpopulation which refers to a condition where the number of humans exceed the carrying capacity of their habitat see the state of affair here we have got india and the lag raha hai jaise aadmi bahar nikle pad rahe hain sab jo jagah hi nahi rahi hai rehne ki aur everybody is being thrown out aur ye maa baap hain bechare जो अपने दो दो हाथों में चार चार बच्चों को लिए फिर रहे हैं और जो इस इंडिया की पॉपुलेशन से परेशान है नाउ व्हाट आर द रीजंस ऑफ इंक्रीज इन पॉपुलेशन इन इंडिया एक्चुअली हाई बर्थ रेट एंड दिस हाई बर्थ रेट इज ड्यू टू पावर्टी इलिटरेसी ट्रेडिशंस ऑफ अवर कल्चरल नॉर्म्स एंड जेंडर बास ऑल दीज थ्री डू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड दैट इलिटरेसी जेंडर बास बिकॉज लड़का पैदा करने के चक्कर में तीन तीन बेटियां पैदा कर देते हैं चार चार बेटियां पैदा कर देते हैं और इस चक्कर में हमारे बर्थ रेट बढ़ता जा रहा है देन देर इज डिक्रीज डेथ रेट ड्यू टू एडवांसमेंट ऑफ वेरियस मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट एज वेल एज टेक्नोलॉजी देर इज डिक्रीज डेथ रेट एंड देन माइग्रेशन दो इट इज नॉट very very important these days but even then it had a important role in population increase when migrants from neighbors like bangladesh nepal etc have recently contributed to the population increase in india now i will just elaborate a little why high birth rate यूनिवर्सलिटी ऑफ मैरिज हमारा ही देश ऐसा है जहां पर जब तक बेटी बेटे की शादी नहीं कर देते हैं माँ बाप चैन से नहीं बैठते हैं इट इज नॉट द सेम इन फॉरन कंट्रीज इन फॉरन कंट्रीज दे डोंट बॉदर अबाउट दिस सो ड्यू टू द यूनिवर्सैलिटी ऑफ मैरिज दिस बर्थ रेट इज हाई देन अर्ली मैरिज देन अर्ली प्यूवर्टी एंड लो स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग and gender difference as i told you before ke maa baap ko aisa hota hai bhai beta to hona hai beta to hona is chakkar mein do teen betiyan char betiyan paida kar dete hain and that is the whole problem of the customs of our india then low level of literacy literacy bilkul directly proportional hai birth rate ke agar aap literate nahi honge then what happens that you produce more children you are not bothered what is happening I will give you an example of Kerala. Kerala हमारा जितना literacy rate उसका high है उतना ही उसका birth rate कम है That is why low level of literacy is responsible for high birth rate. Then the traditional customs and habit, absence of family planning habit, and lack of sex education. And so, due to these problems, there is too early, too frequent. and too many child births more children are preferred even by poor parents because wo kya kehte hain are hame to working hands mil rahe hain jitne bacche paida honge utne log kama ke layenge so these all traditions and our views are very very bad due to which we are having high birth rate now what is population stabilization before i go into detail it is very important to know number 1 pop 
population stabilization means birth rate equals to death rate. यानी जितने पैदा हो रहे हैं उतने मर जाएं तभी आप पापु फैमिली वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम इन इंडिया इस टू प्रमोट स्मॉल फैमिली नॉर्म टू स्टेबलाइज द कंट्रीज पापुलेशन एट द लेवल ऑफ 1.5 बिलियन बाय द ईयर 2050 पापुलेशन स्टेबलाइजेशन इस टेल ए लॉन्ग वे ऑफ ये इतना आसान नहीं है इन इंडिया अनलाइक चाइना who is expected to stabilize its population by 2030 and they can do because whatever they want they can just do it kyunki wo uske liye pehle se hi alarm kar dete hain sabko ki ab humko one child norm karna hai and they can do what they want india will overtake china i'm sure and will become the most populous country with a population of estimated 1.53 billion despite our 6 years of family planning efforts in india and this is a matter of great concern now what is the current scenario in india now current scenario is that the couple protection rate is 50.7% when we have to target it to 60% to stabilize the population unmet need is 12.8% in urban population it is 9.7 and in rural population it is 14.1% and contraceptive prevalence rate is 54.1 which we have to do In 1951 the Indian government introduced its five year plan which referred to population problem the government of india launched its family planning program in 1952 though india was the first country in the world to launch this program but unfortunately we have not met our targets yet you know it was just to motivate for cheap and effective contraception which were made available to all categories of population but it was not enough in the early 1970s sterilization was promoted and abortion was legalized for women then in 1977 1976 a national population policy was introduced and made a national priority compulsory sterilization for mothers of three or more children was encouraged you know the zeal and enthusiasm of some state was so much that it resulted in sterilizations in 76 to 77 compared with the forecast of do nothing is but that we can say that we can do we can say if we make a decision but the congress party electoral defeat in 1977 was due to the unpopularity of mass sterilizations it appeared to signal the end of an active population policy and none of the parties then ever talked about family planning the greatest setback the journey of population stabilization but then again indira gandhi returned to power in 1980 having learned the lessons of her electoral demise she asserted that in order to achieve the target of family limitation persuasion is preferable to caution she declared family planning must come from the people by the people and for the people family planning has been talked about in all the 10 years plans but yet we are very far off from our targets so there is a shift from family planning program to family welfare program ni bol rahi thi 1970 mein tha do ya teen bas 1980 mein tha हम दो हमारे दो और आजकल क्या है लड़की हो या लड़का दो ही काफी और नॉट ओनली दिस पहला बच्चा देर से 
और दूसरा बच्चा तीन साल बाद दैट इज वी प्रमोटेड स्पेसिंग ऑल्सो अलोंग विद दैट संपूर्ण टीकाकरण नाउ वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फैमिली प्लानिंग प्रोग्राम एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम इन फैमिली प्लानिंग प्रोग्राम इट वॉज पॉपुलेशन सेंटर्ड वाइल फैमिली वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम वॉज पीपल सेंटर्ड in family planning program there was over emphasis on sterilization while in this group there was informed choice of contraceptives then there were quantitative targets in family planning program and in this side there was family planning was a absolutely separate basket but in family welfare program this merged with the health and one package package of health mch and family planning now here there was focus on 30 plus women with three or four children but on family welfare program we focus on newly weds but then insensitive to gender issue was family planning program why focus on gender issues and concern of gender equity and the elimination of discrimination against women no linkage with basic needs for poor for poor in family planning but there was priority for fulfilling the minimum needs program no consultation with grassroots level you must have had that policies were made in air conditioned rooms and nobody even thought how these things will be implemented and what will be the problems of the providers and that is why many times the policies were not successful while in family welfare program they decentralized the program and these programs were run through panchayats and nagar palikas now government of india's strategy is there always there to improve utilization services by quality assurance committees in states and districts to ensure quality of services increasing male participation in planned parenthood including no scalpel vasectomy promotion of iud 380a as a long term and short term spacing method especially ppiucd operationalizing fixed day static services promotion of emergency contraceptive pills promotion of postpartum family planning and strengthening of contraceptive logistics so every effort was being made to make family welfare services very very impressive so that we can be accepted but what i say that family planning services can be effective only when we ensure prolonged and long acceptability of the method and the long and prolonged acceptability of the method is only possible when before providing the Method to a client of proper counselling, you cannot have a prolonged acceptability, and then the method you provide should be easily accessible to the client. It should be easily affordable, and there should be very good follow up. Because in follow up, if suppose there is some side effects, we can treat the client so that client does not spread that side effect to others. Because if one client is dissatisfied, this will demotivate thousand other clients, and so good follow up and management of that client is very very important, as well as to break the myths if there are any with the clients, and then. client's preference cafeteria approach what i say cafeteria approach is the most important thing because aapne bhi kai baar suna hoga jab provider samne baithta hai to kehta are bhai tum ye wala property lagwa lo tum ye kar lo tum wo kar lo what i feel it should not be provider's bias it should be client's choice so you should just give the various types of contraceptives available 
which she can use and let her choose it but suppose if you feel that this method will not be good for her then you can explain her but it should be as far as possible client choice strengthening the capacity of providers and staff contraception technology updates we know that we are organizing cmes in which we just update the knowledge and facility whole site orientation you know every staff of a facility should be trained taking from the chokidar at the gate to the person who are involved in theater so that everybody speaks for family planning and not against family planning infection prevention and training female ligation and non scalpel vasectomy training immediate postpartum iucd training a refresher course for appraisal of training and breaking the myths now we should always try to expand the choice we know this i will not uh, go into the natural method artificial method temporary method and permanent method what what i want to inform you what i want to convey is that we should do our methods of family planning also when you are doing cafeteria approach like spray on contraceptives sicl diaphragm hysteroscopic implants like asher and adiana then implants subcutaneous dmpa continuous pill then frameless silver iucd anti fertility vaccine and which hcg vaccine is the first vaccine which is being tried and so we should tell them about the various new methods of contraceptive if they want they can just have that maybe that they are not provided or by the government but if they want to purchase they can go for that now what are the constraints to population stabilization population growth has accelerated in india in spite of family planning program but it would be wrong to say that india's population policy has failed completely it's not true. even though decadal growth rate is falling and contraception coverage is increasing the number of eligible couples was already very high so birth rate remains high kyunki jo purana sab kuch ho gaya hai uska harjana to humko pay hi karna padega and we are carrying over the old burden of a very large population and that is why these are the main constraints kyunki hum kuch bhi kare तब भी हमारा करा हुआ इतना नहीं मालूम पड़ता है जितना एक्चुअली इसका इफेक्ट होना चाहिए इंडिया पॉपुलेशन विल इनएविटेबली ग्रो वी नो फॉर एन अदर फिफ्टी ईयर्स द कंट्री विल ऑल्सो स्ट्रगल विद शॉर्टेज ऑफ फूड persistent poverty widespread unemployment and severe environmental damage so to check this the best is to provide effective family planning services especially in postpartum period and post abortion phase that is to say hit the iron when it is hot with public and private sector collaboration we should continue our efforts without being disheartened we should not say are kuch ho to raha nahi hai lekin ab was not built in a day persistence is the key to success what we can do but i feel there are few points which i counsel every client regarding the importance of family planning wo kisi bhi bimari se lady aaye but always give at least 1 minute to every lady to counsel for family planning impress upon a small family norm and spacing offer cafeteria approach of old and new methods of contraception with emphasis on long acting reversible contraceptives catch the client in postpartum and post abortion period help her to break her myths and confusions regarding family planning methods counsel her for prolonged acceptability of the method explain her about the minor side effects 
विच डू नॉट वॉर्डन डिसकंटिन्यूएशन मेनी टाइम्स आई हैव सीन जब हम लोग कोई भी मेथड उसको देते हैं तो हम कहते हैं अरे भाई ये बहुत अच्छा है इसमें कुछ नहीं होगा तुम जरा भी फिक्र नहीं करो इसकी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट वी शुड टेल हर दैट देर मे बी समाइड formed about this so that she is prepared and if that occurs she does not discontinuation follow every client accepting the family planning method agar kisi ko aap de rahe hain aur fir aapko lag raha hai char panch chhe mahine se wo bilkul aapke paas nahi hai to aap uska follow up kariye now let permanent sterilization be the last choice only for high parity women but to implement this we have to train the medical and paramedical staff well in temporary and permanent methods like pp iucd lap lap ligation mini lap ligation vaginal ligations no non scalpel vasectomy the caution is ensure a strict quality of service including infection infection prevention to avoid these methods to go into disrepute due to our major negligence my association with family planning program has been very long since 1970s as anuradha also said nalini said and then anita rajoria was one of the team of my work work so she knows you know what happened in 1970s and say it was 1974 when we started doing vaginal ligations and not only in meerut i used to do vaginal ligation in nearby district and what happened that there was so much demand of vaginal ligation you know there was no extra uh, propaganda for vaginal ligation but when we started to do vaginal ligation the persons were accepting that method very well because i can say that with caution you cannot ask anyone to use any method but with vaginal ligation they will coming on their own and when i used to reach there i was used to operate them come in the evening and then but the main thing which i always take took care was selection of the patients if you do not select a patient properly then you may face the consequences there may be side effects which may lead to the complications and which may be a great demotivation of that method but slowly and gradually what happened same thing i will say i started lepros i took the training of laparoscopy in 1980 and i started doing laparoscopic ligation in 1981 and you know what happened that when i started doing laparoscopy daily three or four buses will come to the medical colleges and they will unload the buses and the ladies will come to the department i will operate them and then they will go in the evening by 5 or 6 o'clock back to the they will load the bus again and they will go back and like this what happened that the specialist of my hospital were becoming very very problem because they asked me madam is tarike se to hum apne patients hi nahi admit karte hain kyunki family planning program hai hum mana bhi nahi kar sakte hain par madam hamare liye to bed hi nahi bachte hain and then even the district authorities requested me to start conducting camps and i started conducting camps of laparoscopic sterilization since 1981 and that was one of the camp in aligarh where where i operated 611 cases but you know there was a difference at that time the ladies were coming a day before to the hospital there was no problem and when i did 611 operation almost 3 to 400 ladies were admitted a day before my team reached there and that is why i always say whatever credit is being given to me is not my credit alone it is actually the help and support of my whole team which included my postgraduates my ward boy 
my staff nurses, the aya, everybody was so cooperative that they did their duty in a very, very systematic manner and like the manner. And that is why when I tell you that when you are doing so many cases, selection of the patient is very, very important. And after selection of the patient, as Anita said, when I was doing ligation initially, we were laying down two tables. Then we laid down four tables. And I had fortunately, government gave me 10 laprocators along with all the subsidies. And that is why I say that if you are being given facilities, but every person cannot get these facilities. I tell you, I was really fortunate to have the facilities from the government and that is why I could do so much. But I will always say a word of caution. You know, in our country, what happens? If a, matter become, if a method becomes popular, if a method is demanded by the persons who want to use it, what happens? We always try to run fast. And that is the biggest problem. The same thing happened with vaginal ligation and laparoscopic sterilizations. Everybody wanted to do more and more ligations and to complete the target. So fix the targets like this, you know what happens. The workers, they start bringing the patients even who are not fit, whom we should not do. And those things probably we cannot find out at the time when they are coming for this. And so I always say that quality assurance is a very, very important thing for any family planning program to them and to have that uh, to uh, say that we can achieve our targets with these words i always say that slow and steady always wins the race and that is why the more important thing is not the numbers but proper selection of the patients as well as the proper aftercare and follow up when I used to do so many operations, I used to take the report from the CMO of that place that such and such patient was followed up by this AM, and this is the report. And that is why probably due to, due to the grace of God and due to the support and cooperation of my whole team, I could do these programs so successfully and did not meet any complication to the extent that there was some problem. So I say that whenever you use any method, be very careful, be very careful in selecting the case and always follow up your case so that if there is a problem, you come to know it and you just treat that problem. I feel that our policies towards population stabilization have been really patchy. Now a time has come when we should make a decisive and frontal attack to contain our population, which cannot be dictated and should come from within us. Let us join hands to contribute to make a dent on this increasing population by counseling each and every lady regarding women health and family welfare. I have a dream that we should have 100% contraceptive coverage by the gynecologist for eligible couples. And that is why I say it is the responsibility of all of our obstetrician. Because it's baat se aap usse agree karengi ki kareeb kareeb saari ladies obstetricians ke paas to aati hi hai. Aur jab bhi wo hamare paas aati hai, wo kisi bhi ailment ke liya hai. Just give one minute for counseling, for family planning, and not for permanent sterilization, but 
we should always give them the choice and we should tell them that we should have 100% contraceptive coverage, promote them, just, just help them to start contraceptive coverage and for all the eligible couples. So let us do our bit. Government alone cannot achieve the targets without the help of the providers. I know they can make strategies, they can make policies, but they cannot implement it. We have to implement it. And so all of us should extend our cooperation so that we can help this population explosion because India is ours and we are India. You and me can surely make a change. I am sure with the support and cooperation of you all, I will be able to fulfill my dream and let us just fulfill the dream that one day will be there, the 100% contraceptive coverage with the efforts of the gynecologist of all the eligible couples. And that will be the day when we, will, we can foresee that we will stabilize our population. Aisa mat circumstances lane dijiega. Jab bachya feda ho, to pehla to kahe I was planned. Dusra kahe I wasn't. Or tisra kahe me either. Don't you think that there will be difference in raising up the first child and raising up of the, the third child? Certainly. Jo maabap man se or pyaar se pehle bachche ko raise karenge, utna wo dusre or tisre ko nahi karenge. So definitely there will be a difference in the raising of the child as well as the children because they are the future of our India. And if they are not well raised, they are not taken good care, then certainly the citizens of our country will not be as good as we expect. And so Family planning is for everyone. Thank you very much for the patient's hearing. And I think that as this topic is very close to my heart, I think I have taken a little more time. But again, I request you all to please go ahead for advising each and every patient for family planning. It's not there that advice for laparoscopic sterilization or advice for vaginal ligation. You know, doing ligation, as I told you, you will not believe when I used to reach the place where I was to organize the camp. There were 300 to 400 ladies. Ek line mein haath jod ke baithi rehti thi. Aur main jab jaati thi, haala ki kai baar meri ghar mein bhi ladai hoti thi. Tum saveere se chaam tak wahan pe padi rehti ho. Yaha saare mariz wapis chale gaye. But I used to tell my husband, you don't understand. Jitna satisfaction mujhe wahan ja ke hota hai. Jab main wahan pahunchti ho, to aurte sab haath jod ke kehti hai, doctor sab, humara operation zarur kar dijiye ga. Kyunki aaj to main saas ko bhi kehne aayi ho ki zara main ghumne ja rahi ho. Agar aapne mujhe reject kar diya, so, you know, this was the state of affairs, which is not today. But even then, whatever available resources we have, whatever available clients we have, we can talk to them, we can persuade them, and we can motivate them to planning. And this family planning we must tell them it's not rest it's only for the interest of your family and in turn it is for the interest of the india so let us all join hands to have this population stabilization and to persuade each and everyone whosoever comes in our context Thank you very much. This topic is really so close to my heart. I don't want to say anything, but I don't want to say anything. But 
आप सबके सपोर्ट के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद डॉक्टर शारदा डॉक्टर रागनी डॉक्टर साधना डॉक्टर मामला माला थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टेल माई व्यूज रिगार्डिंग द पॉपुलेशन स्टेबिलाईजेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच